And a good Saturday morning to you. Taking a live look outside at Emeryville, looking at Oakland and San Francisco. Beautiful way to start our weekend. And thanks so much for starting your weekend right here with us. I'm Marcus Washington in for Kira Clapper. VNA, looking at this beautiful forecast. And I just have to thank you for it. You're welcome. It's so nice. I always like taking credit for great weather. <laughs> I'm sure, but then the opposite side sometimes too. Yeah, exactly. I know. Well, blame me for the sunshine today, but if you're around the coastline, you're going to notice it's a little cloudier in through San Francisco. Nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge, but don't worry. It's still going to be comfortable out there. We've got some breeze. You can see the flag waving proudly there. And look at the temperatures right now. 56 degrees in San Francisco, 53 in Mountain View, 57 in San Jose, but we're running a lot cooler in through Santa Cruz, 47 and 40 nine degrees in Santa Rosa. Now we've been talking about a warming trend and that's what's underway. It's going to be very slight this afternoon though, but it'll be noticeable enough for inland areas, including the South Bay. Look at that by about one o'clock 77 degrees by two o'clock will be in the upper 70s and notice the combination of sun and clouds. So we will have a couple of high clouds roaming through, but overall you're going to see the sunshine is going to be dominating this weekend, bringing us a very lovely summer afternoon, perfect for enjoying the outdoors. Now again, this is is only going to set us up for a greater warm up and I'll have a look at what you can expect going in through the work week and uh, pride tomorrow as well. Yeah, looking forward to that. All right, thanks BNA. Well, 701 for you right now and the fire is out, but there is still a lot of work to be done. Taking a live look in Santa Clara. This is where firefighters continue to douse hot spots this morning and at a massive condo complex that burned down yesterday. That complex was under construction, but the material really fueled the fire. Now those flames shooting 50 feet into the air at some point. The plume of black smoke, as you see right there, could be seen from all parts of the South Bay. And that heat so intense, it caused nearby buildings to start smoking. Today in the Bay, Sergio Quintana has the latest on the fire and the ongoing effort to figure out how it all started. From Sky Ranger, you can see the flames towering dozens of feet into the air. And in video shot by bystanders on the ground, you see the intensity. Oh, I could feel the heat. Yeah, absolutely. So what is that? Maybe 100 yards away. Definitely can feel the heat. Scott Hutfletz watched the fire from a nearby shopping center. He returned along with several other neighbors to watch as crews began tearing down the scaffolding around the burned out shell of a building. This is not the first time longtime residents have seen a huge fire like this in the area. Started with Santana Row, then River Mart, then these condominiums over here, and now this. A lot of huge fires. Construction crews had to bolt from the burning building. One worker was injured as he jumped from one of the unfinished upper floors. The Anantara Villas was supposed to be a 58-unit condo complex. That project was a wonderful project that would provide much-needed housing and even affordable housing for Santa Clara. To see it go up in smoke like that is just, just really heartbreaking. The first homes were scheduled to open to residents next year. Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Now, this is what the condo development was going to look like. These are renderings of the Anatara Villas, described by the developer as a luxury condo with sophisticated Mediterranean architecture. Well, Pride Weekend is here. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to celebrate the LGBTQ community in San Francisco, and it all started with action with the Trans March. Thousands of people marching from Dolores Park to the Tenderloin, the Trans March is considered one of the largest trans events in the country. But this year, the city showed Pride Weekend isn't only about the parades and festivals. The mayor announcing $2 million in funding to address issues like homelessness in the trans community. Now, given the political climate, many people say it is important to get involved in Pride festivities. What's going on now with the political cloud, it's just it's a huge, huge issue nowadays. So for me, pride means loving each other for as who we are. Often when they have the big parade, because I live in the neighborhood so long, we like to pull the shutters up and like go to Sonoma for the weekend. But we're staying this time. I think it's really important to just show up. Now this weekend's biggest event is tomorrow's Pride Parade. Yesterday, volunteers put some finishing touches on the 35 floats that will be in the parade. Well, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden is scheduled to attend a fundraiser in Los Altos this morning. This after spending the day collecting money from supporters in the Bay Area last night. He was in San Francisco at the home of A-list fundraiser Doug Hickey, later heading to Belvedere to meet with supporters. In Belvedere, guests arriving about an hour before the candidate. The fundraiser was held at the home of Lenny Eccles, a longtime Democratic committee fundraiser. Supporters talked about why they support Biden and Thursday's debate.
I don't think he did a great job, although I think he's getting a little unfair criticism on racism. Maybe he should have been better prepared. Uh, but he was also wonderful when he was talking about his son and medical care. And so he's a good guy. Now Biden spent a little more than an hour with supporters before leaving Belvedere. Senator Kamala Harris is also coming to San Francisco. She'll be here today for one of five fundraisers scheduled this weekend. She also plans to participate in the city's Pride Parade on Sunday. And by the way, if you missed this week's debates, we've posted several memorable moments from both nights on our website. Just visit NBCBayArea.com. 705 for you right now, and North Korea is calling it a very interesting suggestion. President Trump has invited Kim Jong-un to meet with him at the DMZ between North and South Korea this weekend. The president floated the idea on Twitter yesterday, saying that he would meet him at the border just to shake hands and say hello. The president is already in Asia as he attended the G20 summit in Japan. North Korea says it has not received an official proposal. If the meeting were to take place, it would be the first time the U.S. and North Korean leaders have met in the DMZ. A federal judge causing a major setback for President Trump's border wall. The judge blocking the administration from using two and a half billion dollars in military funds to build a wall along the southern border, including in parts of California. The judge issuing a permanent injunction preventing construction from moving forward. The Trump administration is expected to appeal. Well, two people are in the hospital following a fire in Contra Costa County. That fire broke out yesterday at a senior apartment complex on Buchanan Road in Antioch. Now, a spokesperson with the fire department saying that it started in a downstairs unit that quickly spread upstairs. Witnesses say they heard some kind of explosion. Well, I was at my apartment and when I came out, I seen all the smoke and I walked over where the smoke was and it was like uh, firecrackers going off or bullets, somebody shooting. Now, it turns out that noise was an oxygen tank that exploded. The two people hurt are being treated for smoke inhalation. And in the South Bay, a driver was hurt in a fiery crash in Los Gatos. NBC Bay Area Sky Ranger was overhead. Now, this is the story behind this. That car went over the cliff, flipping over, starting a brush fire. This was right off of Shannon Road. That driver was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. That fire was quickly contained. And we're all used to hearing about those potholes in Oakland, but take a look at this. This is a sinkhole, and it's a huge problem, and it's getting bigger. NBC Bay Area Sky Ranger flying over that area yesterday evening. That sinkhole is about 8 feet by 10 feet. It's located on Shafter Avenue between 38th and 40th Streets. You can see that sinkhole and the road of it blocked off. This is so no one gets hurt. Crews are working to fix that problem. 707 for you right now and much more ahead here on Today in the Bay. Coming up, got illegal fireworks? Well, here's your chance to turn them in without facing any penalties. We're going to tell you about an amnesty program in Contra Costa County. Plus, a little too close to comfort, especially for me. Take a look at these pictures. You may want to see this and think twice before you head to the beach this weekend. What up, Bay Area? I'm Abby. Yo, guys, check out these dope kicks. Let's keep it real. With all the crazy stuff going on around the bay, this 20-year-old was caught trying to impersonate a police officer. I'll get you synced in on the stories that you low-key really care about. Senator Kamala Harris is proposing a plan to end the gender pay gap. There are still many unanswered questions and concerns about CBD products. You know I got you for weekend plans. News you want at a speed that moves just as fast as you do. Find us on Instagram. Thank you to the obstacles that stand in the way of our vacation. Thank you to the detours and delays and everything that gets in the way of summer. Because you remind us of our love for the open road. Summer starts now. Free into the BMW Summer on Sales event and get up to $4,500 credit on select models now through July 31st. 
Shop local and celebrate America's independence at Airport Home Appliances 4th of July sales event. Hurry in today and get up to 40% off on appliances, up to 60% off brand name mattresses, and for a limited time, get exclusive rebates you won't find at the big box stores. Plus, get up to 18-month special financing and free delivery on select items. Shop early and save big all month long with incredible deals starting now at Airport Home Appliance. Unbeatable price, selection, and people. Just know that I'm here for you. We'll take it a live look outside in Walnut Creek. A beautiful start to our Saturday morning. 710 for you right now. Well, it is that time of year cracking down on illegal fireworks. As the 4th of July approaches, East Contra Costa County Fire is hosting its first ever fireworks take back program. That means you can drop off any fireworks, no questions asked. Today in the Bays, Ali Wolf has the story from Antioch. All the uh, back fence area and the side fence will um, burn up. Kenneth Tyaski's back fence is destroyed and this grassy field is scorched after a fire ripped through the East Antioch neighborhood almost two weeks ago. We heard a big boom. Firefighters say dry grass fueled the flames, likely started by illegal explosives. Get the fireworks um, out of uh, hand, sit there, are very legal, and you can see the significant damage um, very well. These homes behind us can have been burned up. This weekend, the East Contra Costa County Fire Protection District is hosting its first fireworks take back program to try and prevent this from happening again. You may light it and think it's uh, not working, but it's actually the fuse is burning, and you go to, to relight it and it explodes. I've seen people, I've responded to calls where we're finding fingers a good distance away from the individual. All fireworks are illegal countywide. Anyone caught with them could face thousands of dollars in fines or even felony charges. But this weekend, any fireworks can be dropped off with no questions asked. Tayeski is glad the event is happening, hoping it keeps his neighborhood safe from an even bigger disaster. No one lost their life at the time, but very damaging and very uh, devastating. Yeah, of course, those fireworks will be fun to set off, but we see why it's so important to leave it to the professionals. That was Ali Wolf reporting there. Well, we've got much more ahead for you here on Today in the Bay. Coming up, if you have summer travel plans, there could be a setback for you. The large fleet of those troubled 737 MAX jets that could be grounded even longer. We take a look at the new problem. And let me help you plan your weekend. We're tracking a warm up for inland areas today and in through tomorrow. I'll also have a look at how the beaches are looking and a look ahead at your 4th of July coming up in just a bit. Stay with us. With the largest selection of hybrids on the market, you'll save at the gas pump this summer in a Toyota hybrid. Test drive the first ever Corolla hybrid, Camry hybrid, or carpool lane friendly Prius Prime now. Toyota, let's go places. Don't miss the Scandinavian Designs Clearance Event. Now through July 8th, you get an extra 10% off clearance items already marked down up to 60%. Save even more on markdown store-wide from sofas and sectionals, beds and dressers, dining tables and chairs, to office essentials and home decor. Plus, financing available when you shop online and any one of our nine Bay Area locations, including our newest showroom on Blossom Hill Road in San Jose. Scandinavian Designs. We make it simple, you make it home. One site, over 1,500 new and certified pre-owned vehicles. Shop the combined inventory of the Euro Motors Auto Group, Mercedes-Benz of San Francisco, Mercedes-Benz of Oakland, and Mercedes-Benz of Monterey. The shopping experience is completely transparent, and at 1-800-NEW-BENZ.COM, choose your vehicle, value your trade-in, and apply for financing all online. Right now, you can lease a new CLA 250 Coupe for just $2.99 a month. Go to 1-800-NEW-BENZ.COM for your affordable Mercedes-Benz dealer. Honey, this geek speed internet is ridiculously fast. We are seriously keeping up with the Joneses. We are seriously keeping up with the Andersons. We are finally keeping up with the Fords. Keeping up with the Garcias. Keeping up with the Harveys. With the, 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 the Romeros. Carters. Patels. The Allens. Willans. Right. Them. No one's going to have internet like no this. No one's going to have internet like this. Xfinity makes keeping up with the Joneses simple, Over here. easy, awesome. Check out Gig Speed Internet or any of our other amazing speed options. Click, call, or visit a store today. From the open road to off-road, you'll always travel farther in a Toyota hybrid. Test drive the all-new RAV4 hybrid. First ever Corolla hybrid. 
or Camry Hybrid now. Toyota, let's go places. Good morning to you. Taking a look at a bug and SFO. A little bug there or a spider on the camera there, but that's SFO as we start the morning. Surely a lot of people heading into the Bay Area for the Pride festivities as Pride kicks off this weekend. 714 for you right now. We know a lot of those 737 jets have not been flying into SFO because more problems for Boeing. A new flaw has been discovered in the computer system for the Boeing 730 MAX. Now, U.S. air safety regulators found a problem with the plane's in-flight control chip that could push the plane downward. More than 500 of those planes have been grounded since March. This is following two crashes overseas. It's unclear when the 737 MAX planes will fly again. Well, fireworks, friends, and barbecues. Fourth of July is right around the corner, and since the holiday falls on a Thursday this year, it might be the perfect chance to hit the road for a long weekend. But... Highway safety experts warn about long travel times. They expect record travel this next week. In fact, we are projecting that the travel is going to pick up on Wednesday before the holiday. And in those larger uh, actual areas, you're going to see travel times from two to four times longer than normal. They also say that more crashes can happen because drivers tend to get more distracted in traffic. Well, it is an end of an era. After 45 years in business, the milk pail market is closing up shop. Tomorrow will be the store's last day. The Mountain View market is famous for its fresh cheese and produce. So recently held a farewell party for longtime loyal customers to say their goodbyes. The owner saying that they're selling the property to move on to the next chapter of their lives. Well, you know, beach season is officially here, but before you jump into the water, you may want to take a look at these photos. Sharks being spotted close to the shore in Aptos. This was Thursday night. Now, we showed you video of a shark passing by an unsuspected swimmer. This is at the new Brighton Beach. Well, yesterday, we received more photos of sharks getting extremely co close to the beach. Experts say that those sharks are flocking to shallow waters because it's warmer out there. It is warmer. And you saw how close he was? He was just I know. kayaking. And, you, no and the thing about it is you don't even see them out no, there. No, you don't. But they see you. And they do. And, you know, after all, that is their home that we're stepping into. This is into. true. But it's unfortunate to, you know, see all the recent shark attacks. It's tough. You especially, be mindful. Yeah, again, it, it is warmer, and it is going to warm up even more into the week. So that's okay. going to lead us into a little bit of a warming trend. But great beach weather, but maybe just hanging out on the sand and enjoy the the water. I personally think the water's too cool to get in anyway, but now we had a, some shark sightings that are right. getting a little too close. And Watch it's, out. I'm good for, yeah, no Pacific Ocean <laughs> for me or any ocean right now for that matter. Peninsula 49 degrees, Tri-Valley 52, South Bay 57 degrees. Now, the skies are clear through the interior valleys, but we still have some cloud cover in San Francisco. Take a look at that. 53 degrees. We've got good cloud cover through there, but don't worry. We'll get some partial clearing for the coastline. And let's take a look at the the temperature difference because we are running a couple of degrees cooler in some spots, including San Jose, Sunnyvale, and Santa Cruz. In through about, you know, the maybe 12 o'clock hour, 1 o'clock hour, you're going to notice a really quick warm up. So let's talk about today's forecast because we're actually going to be running a couple of degrees warmer. This is going to put us into more seasonable temperatures in San Francisco, a high of 65, Palo Alto, 77, San Jose, 80 degrees. It'll be a little breezy through the afternoon. That's what's going to keep our temperatures a little bit more comfortable along the coastline. And Santa Cruz will be at about 76 degrees. Now let's talk about some of those beach forecasts because I know that a lot of people will be heading out not just this weekend, but also in through the weekend week ahead with the 4th of July activities coming up and all that. So we will keep that cloud cover by about 12 o'clock. We're going to remain in the mid 60s for Monterey. So it won't be as bright and sunny as inland areas, but it'll still be quite comfortable and nice to hang out. And again, I would just hang out on the sand. No going into the water for me. Pacifica will be a little bit cooler. Look at that 60s only mid to low 60s in through the afternoon and cool off because by tomorrow, if you'd be heading out to San Francisco's Pride Parade, it starts at 1030. The weather is going to be fantastic. So any cloud cover that we start our morning off with tomorrow will burn off by about 11, 12 o'clock. So right around towards the end of the parade, things will start getting really sunny and the temperatures will warm up into the upper 60s. That's going to be a very pleasant afternoon. So hopefully everyone goes out there, has a great time. Please share your photos with us. We'd love to share them uh, as well on our social 
social media sites. Now let's talk about the long range outlook. So again, we're going to have slightly warmer temperatures, cool coast 60s and 70s, valleys will be warming up into the upper 80s. But just looking ahead towards the middle of the week, by Wednesday and Thursday, we get a bit of a high pressure system that's going to warm us up and that could force our valleys to near the 90s. Now this could turn into a dangerous situation considering, you know, we've been giving you warnings about you're not allowed to set off fireworks because once we warm up and the winds pick up, it dries us out and that really brings an elevated fire danger and there's still a lot of dry brush out there. So please don't light your own fireworks. It's just not a good idea. Now we'll keep the breezy conditions in through Monday, 65 degrees and we notice that good warm up into Wednesday and Thursday. Remember that system that I just mentioned that's going to warm us up and it's going to dry us out and through Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, we're tracking our big warm up. Marcus? All right, looking forward to that warm up, VNA. Thanks. 720 for you right now and still ahead here on Today in the Bay. Someone sinister is posing as one of our own. Yes, we could be victims too. We unravel the scam that involved longtime reporter Bob Riddell. Next. This is the seven passenger Acura MDX. Designed for where you drive. Lease the 2019 MDX for $439 a month for well qualified customers. Visit your Acura dealer today. This year's biggest thrill <laughs> now has a new exciting drop right finale. The San Francisco dungeon just got more thrilling. I'm here with the Cortezes, Lawson, Carnivales at their family reunion to show them the family of Chevy SUVs. <laughs> This is the Trax, the Equinox, and the Traverse. Which one's your favorite? The Trax, actually. More compact. Equinox is jumping out at me. The blue one. The red one. And I would take that Traverse. No matter what you want in an SUV, Chevy's got the perfect one for you. You got it covered. Current competitive owners get 14% below MSRP on most Equinox models. That's over $5,600 on this Equinox. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Time and temperature on NBC Bay Area is sponsored by Mancini Sleep World, simply the best place to buy a mattress. Enjoy big savings at Mancini Sleep World's adjustable comfort mattress sale. Visit sleepworld.com. Everywhere you go, you share life with the people around you. From work to play, from the ballpark to the office. Ever thought about joining a carpool? Not only will you take a few cars off the road, you'll reduce air pollution and enjoy the drive. Think about it next time. Life's a trip. Share the ride and spare the air. This is the award-winning Acura RDX. Designed for where you drive. Visit your Northern California Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX. 722 for you right now and our own NBC Bay Area newsroom is not immune to fraud. One of our own reporters was the victim of identity fraud and it cost a woman in Texas $12,000. A consumer investigator Chris Camore has the details about this cross country scam. Here in Oakland. Bob Riddell is a busy guy covering the news each morning for Today in the Bay. Here at Monte Gardens Elementary School in Concord. Perhaps he could use a virtual assistant. But Bob says no. Are you hiring? I'm not. The internet advertised otherwise. A scammer posted this bogus job opening using Bob's name and photo, claiming he was hiring a virtual assistant. It looks legit. Tamika Smith in Houston, Texas, took the bait and the virtual assistant job. But first, she had searched Bob Riddell online. He's actually a news reporter. Quickly, the imposter funneled about $12,000 into Tamika's bank account. He then directed her to withdraw cash and feed the bills into this unusual ATM that converts cash into Bitcoin. What did they tell you the money was for? He just said that he needed to pay some bills and buy some supplies, and they only accepted BTC form of payment. Once the money went into the BTC ATM, it vanished. So what was actually going on here? We figured it out. The scammer hacked a bank account in Detroit. That's where the money he sent to Tamika came from. He had transferred money from there to Tamika in Texas. So she'd been hired, all right, as a mule. Tamika discovered that when her bank flagged the transfers and put her on notice. This is a scam. We're freezing your account. 
indefinitely. And I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean? This is not a scam. I am doing a job here. The bank recalled the transfers to return the money to its rightful owners in Detroit. But remember, the cash was already gone. Tamika had already converted it to Bitcoin and transferred it to the scammer, which means Tamika is on the hook for the 12 grand. A whole lot of money that I don't have to pay. We asked the banks and the ATM operator if there's anything they could do to help Tamika. They said no. She's now asking the public for help on GoFundMe. She's also asking you to be skeptical when anyone online wants to hire you. I meet them in person, you know, make sure they are, and make sure that they show you their ID too, because you can be telling me that you're Bob Riedel. It's frightening. Bob, the real Bob, agrees with Tamika. The lesson is you got to educate yourself that unless you can get someone on the phone or in person face to face, I wouldn't believe what you see on the internet. So let's just say it one more time. No matter what you find online, Bob Riddell is not in the market for a virtual assistant. I'm not hiring anyone. I don't even have a lawn person. I don't even have a pool person. I don't hire. I do the work myself. Wow. All right, that was Chris Kamura reporting for us there. Bob was caught off guard. So every once in a while, you might want to do this. Search your own name, see what comes up, take one extra step and search your profile images as well. Right click on that and then see if your mug is being used elsewhere. If it is, take action immediately, contact the site where it's posted and tell them to take it down. Now, if you don't get the results you want, you should consider getting an attorney involved. 725 for you right now and much more ahead here on Stay in the Bay. Coming up, sedated patients and taking pictures of abuse. Serious accusations against San Francisco's publicly run hospital. And she vanished after taking a lift from the airport. A new twist in the search for a missing college student from Southern California.